So my name is Eva Satalecka and I am a head of the New Media Art Department of Polish Japanese Academy of New Technologies in Warsaw. And uh, I am here thanks to invitation of uh, Professor Anja Strüffer, who is working for this really great exhibition Avant-Garde and Bauhaus uh, design. And uh, we are a part of this event as a workshops for students uh, attended by the Polish and the German students plus visitors of Erasmus. We started in 2011 uh, thanks of invitation of uh, Anja Ströffer, uh, Ralf Dringenberg and Annette Ludwig who uh, established a moving type uh, collection and research on motion typography and in result they organized here in the Gutenberg Museum a beautiful uh, exhibition on motion typography and uh, I uh, as an artist became a part of the collection and my uh, work uh, was presented so next uh, our students were invited and it was the beginning of the great collaboration of both schools. Now we are because of the anniversary, 100th anniversary of uh, Bauhaus School, which was very uh, avant-garde, uh, very influential, not only in Germany, but also around the world. And uh, because we are researching on the future of typography and the modern forms of text-based communication, we are here to uh, examine the beginnings and to find new solutions for the future. So we use, uh, we use some uh, traditional technologies which are uh, printed poster and obviously uh, uh, we augmented them with uh, new technologies, especially uh, augmented reality. And uh, our teachers uh, participating in this workshop uh, teach on uh, the new technologies and the new forms of design, visual communication and multimedia communication based on text. I think we can uh, talk about the um, heritage of uh, Bauhaus in the context of international uh, heritage of uh, culture and also uh, we can uh, talk about the great impact of this ideology of education, of popularization, of the special attitude uh, of designer who is a partner uh, of uh, the user, who takes care on social aspect of design and who is a part of community. Yes. It starts with moving types. Um, ich freue mich, dass wir heute hier sind vor dem Gutenberg Museum und 2011 haben wir die erste interaktive iPad Ausstellung eröffnet hier im zweiten Stock. Ähm, Basis ist die Retrospektive der bewegten Lettern. Äh, damals zusammen mit Ralf Dringenberg, Dominik Gwitzke und ich sozusagen als Startpunkt einer Retrospektive zu diesem Thema Schrift in Bewegung unter Einbeziehung ähm, der digitalen Mitteln, aber auch der filmischen Mitteln und sichtbar auf dem iPad als Gang durch die Ausstellung. Ähm, ja, das war der Ausgangspunkt der Kooperation. Wir hatten damals das Glück, mit dem iPad 2 zu arbeiten, das erstmals eine Kamera hatte, um überhaupt visuelle Codes abrufen zu können und ähm, Bewegtbildarbeiten sichtbar machen zu können. Und wir gehen jetzt hier. Damals ähm, hatten wir das iPad und man konnte mit einem Social Media Konzept der Ausstellung sich durch die Ausstellung bewegen. Heute stehen wir auch hier äh, vor dem Gutenberg Museum und ich freue mich ganz besonders, dass diese Kooperation äh, von Hochschule Mainz mit dem Gutenberg Museum über viele Jahre so gelebt wird, gelebt werden kann und wir auch andere internationale Partner wie zum Beispiel die Hochschule in Warschau in diese Kooperation mit einbeziehen können. Ich finde es ganz wunderbar, dass wir international an diesem Thema arbeiten, dass wir dieses Thema auch technologisch weiterentwickelt haben mit den Techniken dieser oder einer jeden Zeit und auch gemeinsam an visuellen Ästhetiken arbeiten, die uns alle nach vorne bringen und ähm, ja, es hat begonnen mit Moving Types und es bewegt sich weiter. 
So I'm uh, Jan Piechota. I'm a visual communication designer, and uh, we are here in Mainz, in Gutenberg Museum, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Bauhaus. Uh, the workshops are about uh, the posters uh, dedicated to the Bauhaus and uh, contemporary interpretation of the Bauhaus achievements. So as you can see, uh, my role was to um, to pay attention to students. My role was to pay students' attention on uh, typography um, and to explain the diversity of the Bauhaus typography, not only connected with these geometrical uh, forms, but also black letters and uh, serif typefaces. Uh, so I think that the Bauhaus heritage is still. Uh, present nowadays and uh, during the mass production and mass consumption uh, those radically break the, uh, the 19th century tradition is still available in the 20th century. So uh, to me interesting is how we can um, interpret, in, interpret and uh, uh, create the connection between the uh, traditional techniques and the uh, uh, more uh, digital uh, contemporary projects like uh, the augmented reality, web design, uh, and app design. So it's like uh, another part or just another interpretation of the Bauhaus. Uh, Bauhaus um, history. So the, 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 the Bauhaus uh, educational uh, system, I think it doesn't work uh, in Poland, where all those performative arts, uh, graphic visual arts are separate and uh, curative, they are no longer available uh, at the one school. So uh, that's why I think uh, uh, those kind of heritage, which was the main core of the Bauhaus, uh, is, not, um, is not present in Poland. It was very much uh, related with the medieval uh, craftsmen uh, and they uh, kind of thinking that all kind of arts is one. Uh, but I think that nowadays where all these kind of different disciplines are so, um, so precisely described, it's actually rather sometimes impossible to, to, uh, to teach uh, students about all kinds of arts. My name is Marcin Wichrowski. I'm a lecturer at Polish-Japanese Academy of IT in Warsaw, Poland. Uh, here in Mainz, uh, I was working with students, supervising the augmented reality part of our posters connected with Bauhaus. Thanks to augmented reality technology, we were able to make posters which were uh, which are very simple, but at the same time we are extending them by new meaning and new visuals and video materials and animations which are presented on top of the posters. I was working with Andre from Venezuela and together we created an animated poster with a lot of colorful shapes which are three-dimensional when you take a smartphone or tablet and check it in front of the poster, you can see that all of the elements are uh, with different depth. So you can change the position of the smartphone and observe it from different perspective. We were using very simple augmented reality application available for mobile uh, devices. And based on the projects of our students, we design uh, versions of the posters with animations, with video and with 3D elements on top of them. Uh, what is really great behind the workshop is that uh, thanks to this very simple application, all of the students were able to create a new technology um, approach to designing posters which are visible on this uh, gallery.